I grew up locally actually and then studied uh, medicine in London at Barts Hospital Medical School and then decided to become a surgeon. Following my um, surgical training locally, um, I decided quite soon that I wanted to become a urologist and worked in London and the south of England predominantly getting my training. Uh, I've been a consultant urologist in the area now for nearly 12 years. I think there are many reasons why I enjoy uh, and I'm fulfilled working here at Spice and Anthony's to see my private patients. Being readily available for my patients, um, working with my own uh, PA secretary to, to, to really help the patient's pathway to come and see me when they, they need to. But then even at St Anthony's there's a great team of, of staff from, from the administration, from, from the welcoming reception, but also in outpatients and working. I work a lot with the x-ray department, the radiologists, and that's important for the diagnostic test, being able to rapidly turn around a diagnostic test, a scan, an x-ray, um, and get the diagnosis right quickly and feed that back to the patient, I think is, is really good. And here um, at Spire St Hansen is we can offer um, quick testing, blood tests, urine tests, but also the, the high quality MRI scans, which we know now are, are revolutionizing um, prostate cancer diagnosis. And I think finally, what I have here is the time to actually get to know my patients, spend some time asking what's really concerning them, and then provide the care that's individualized for them um, and hopefully relieve their anxieties and, and treat them very effectively. Personally, as a surgeon, I like the idea of seeing a problem, dealing with it, and then letting people move on as well. So it's not that everybody comes back to see me all the time, but a lot of patients do come back. Patients with kidney stones, unfortunately, do come back because these things reform. We do our best to try and prevent that, but some patients do need further treatment. And I have now a lot of patients, I have to say I've been here 12 years, and some of those patients who came to see me over 10 years ago, now sometimes come back and say, oh, thanks for looking after me so much. Oh, could you look after my daughter as well? And, and, and that's really nice. And, and having been stable and, and, and settled in this area for a long time, and as I said, having grown up in the area as well, there, it does mean a lot to me to be able to provide you know, for my, my local population. We're very close to London, and a lot of patients don't want to travel up and don't need to travel to get the care that they can get here in this, you know, very, um, it, it's, it's a great place to work. I've got great relationships with the people I work in each week in, in the operating theatres. And actually, when you're concentrating on an operation, and you, it, it's so much easier to get that operation right, that, that manual, dexterity, that skill, if you've got the equipment and the theatre staff around you, it isn't just a one-man job, but it makes my job a lot easier working with people you know, who I can rely on.